Welcome back to the day 7 of Mastering Figma in 10 days. In this lesson, we're going to start designing this new project. So this project has a multiple section which we are going to design. If you're still not subscribed to my channel, please kindly hit the subscribe button. To get started, we're going to select the frame here and then I'll be adding a desktop this time. And so we can increase the height of this here I'm going to set the height to 5578 because I already know the spacing that we need. After that, select your desktop and then add a layout grid. So this time we're going to change the settings here, select columns and then the count should be 12. On the margin, we're going to set that to 10 and then we are okay with the gutters. In our previous lesson, we added rulers to our layout grid. So if you don't have the rulers, click on the Figma icon here, then on your view, make sure it's checked. After that, I'm going to zoom in here, then come to the edge, drag this and make sure this is pointing here. So I'll zoom in to make sure that it's aligning. I can now zoom out, drag it and then drop it here. So I can also zoom in and then make sure that this is a line here so after that we can now select the desktop and then hide this please don't minus that just hide that the next thing to do here is I'm going to add a text here leaf let's zoom in so that we can all see leaf let's you can select the text and make sure that you're changing the font size to Nonito. Here, that's our fonts that we'll be using today, Nonito. So we change this size to 24. And we can make that semi-bold or bold. So after that, we're done with the logo. We're going to add some design, but not now. Let's add our links, home. And then you can click outside, select home, and make sure you're changing this to 14. So I'm leaving this to bold. So I'm going to duplicate that home. We change that to about. So here, this can be medium. Duplicate that. This will be contact. So let's say this will be services. Then the next one, we can have projects, projects. So once you have these items, you can select them. Like we did in the previous lesson, add an auto layout by pressing shift A. So now we can change the spacing between them to 24. If you're watching this and you don't know anything about the auto layout, please refer back to our previous lesson so after adding the auto layout the next thing we want to do is to add a button so but this button i'm going to add this outside because i want to make that a component so contact us after that we're going to do shift a to add that to an auto layout then we make sure that we add a few here since that's our button after adding the few we can now change the color to this so I can now close this so we can face this and do some manual updates here so the margin on the left and right for the auto layout we're going to change that to 50 and then margin top make that 12 as for top and bottom then the corner radius let's make that 22 so we have our button now the next thing is to convert this button to a component after converting this to a component, I'm going to click on the plus sign again. So we have our variant. And please, if you have not learned anything about variant, you can always refer back to our previous lesson on components and variant. So once you add this variant now, you can now change the name of the variant here. Make sure you're selecting this. You can now change it to outline. So let's say BTN minus outline 
So now we can select this back and then remove the fill. After removing the fill, add the stroke. So we can change the color of the stroke to this. If you want to use the same color, it's 377 DFF. So I also select the text. So here, selection color and change the text for this particular variant. Let's change that to this blue. So now we have two variants. As time goes on, if we have any other type of button we want to add here, we are also going to include that. So let's rename this here to buttons. Okay, app buttons. It can be just buttons, so I'm going to just say app buttons here. So now we can select the ad sets. And then here you're going to see this uh, button here. It's, it's on the app button. See, on the app button, I can now drag that and then drop it in here. But we're not interested in this particular button. We want the outline. So you can select this. And then on the right hand, you see we have app button. You can select default BTN outline. So we have the outline. So the three items now, we can select them and then add them to an auto layout by pressing shift a once you add them to an auto layout you're going to notice that they are not aligned so you can check this to shape them so i'll press the center and then we can drag this to make sure that it's touching this end so let's zoom in so that we can get the right measurement make sure that it's touching this end and then i'll go back to this Hold shift and then your mouse wheel. If you want to zoom in, you hold command or control. So you see, this is touching here. So after that, we want to make sure that this leaflet is at the end and then this other one is also at the end. To do that, make sure you're selecting the auto layout this and change this from a number, whichever number that is here to auto. So it's going to push this so now we can just align this and on a very good day we can drag this outside and convert this to a component to do that we just need to select this here so i'm just going to rename this to navbar nav bar so once we do that here you're going to see this and you can even do some changes here by adding some background color to this. You can add a fill to this here, depending on what you want. And once you add the fill, you can always increase the margin at the top and also at the bottom here. So you can make this 20, something like this, and then left and right. But I don't want to play with the left and right because the background here is white. So we can drag our nav bar and drop it here so you see i have my nav bar here as a variant so we can drag this to the top here so we have this here so it's left for you to if you want to adjust it that's good so the next thing we want to do is to add text and i have those text copied to my clipboard so i'm going to select text and then paste that here so I'm going to add the last text here and then paste that here. So you can pause the video and then type the text. So I'm not typing because I want our video to be fast. So now we have this. Let me go back to the layer. Here now we have this is 64 and then this is 20. So the last thing we need to add on this section is a button. So we can go back to our assets and then drag this our button here. So after adding this, we can now change the text to start project here. So we have one, two, three here. So after adding these items, we can put them in an auto layout. You can hold shift and then select this and then also select this. Then to add that in an auto layout, press shift A. Yes, once you have this, don't worry, you click on the center icon here, then we have everything aligned to center. If you want to give it margin or sorry, padding at the top and right, you can just do this or you can add more so that you can get that padding. So we can now drag this to center here. So the next thing we want to add 
is an image so let me push this a bit and here i think um we need to make some adjustment i'll just push that here somewhere here a bit so now let's add an image to do that let's select this and then add a rectangle here so after adding this we can make it by 501 here so we need to add an image here so to do that we are going to select this icon here make sure if it's on components make sure you're selecting plugin so once you select plugin search for on splash so type on splash you're going to get this select this then we are going to search for agency so you can get images on fig without leaving figma so after that select this or you can look for any other image that you want to use and then i'll click on this image but to do that please make sure you're selecting the rectangle let me undo that make sure you're selecting this rectangle before you pick any image here so we have that in case your image appears somewhere differently you undo that make sure you select outside here undo this then select the rectangle and then place that image there after that let's change the border radius of this to 50. once we have that set to 50 we can now quickly add a rectangle here so after adding this rectangle here let's change the color to white the fill change that to white after changing the fill to white let's also change the border radius to 16 for all corners so now let's add an effect to this effect so blur we're going to make that 24 and then the y axis we're going to make that 8 and then this will be 15. we have a shadow that we can use for this project so now i'm going to select the star here and then try to add star yeah and then let's just say great projects great projects so i can just quickly change the size of this to 14. great projects so instead of extra bold, we can use semi bolts. Okay, let's use bold here. Great projects. So let's add plus, let's say 600 here. So let's make that bold. And let's increase the size of this to 24. Plus 600, done. Done. So this instead of bold, let's make that regular. So we're going to change the colors of this. We're just going to change the color. So here, I'm going to use the same color here. Let's see with the star. Okay, let me just look for a color I can use for this great project. Okay, great project. So this is, I'm using A, B, A, B, A, B. So let's select this item, put them in an auto layout shift A. So I can drag them here. We can select this, put them in an auto layout shift A. So this two now, we just have two groups, one and then two. You can put them in an auto layout shift A. So you can pause the video and then rewatch over and over again. So now we can select this and then press command G. To group them please don't add that to an auto layout just group them so here i will just see text or hint here so we want this here and we also want this somewhere here so let's just align this properly i'll just put this somewhere here so after adding this we can stop here so on the next um lesson we're going to uh, work on this and then we'll continue with the other ones please if you're still not subscribed to my channel please kindly hit the subscribe button